Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're going to be talking about simplifying algebraic expressions. So what does the word simplifying mean? Well we've got some expressions here on the screen I'm going to simplify them. 3 thirds is the same as 1. 3 thirds is exactly the same as 1. 8 divided by 4 is the same as 2. 5 minus 2 is the same as 3. 2 times 9 minus 7, well 9 minus 7 is 2 times 2 is 4. And so we've simplified the numbers on the top to be 1, 2, 3 and 4. And that's what simplifying means. These two uh, lists of numbers on the top and on the bottom have the same values, however the one on the bottom is definitely simpler. Okay, we're going to be doing the exact same thing with the algebra today. So we'll start with x plus x plus x. When you're adding three x's together, that's the same as multiplying three by x. And so you can write that as three times x, or three x. In algebra, we rarely write the time sign. We normally just write a number next to a letter, and that means multiply. Now, 2a plus 5a minus 3a. Well, 2a plus 5a is 7a, and then we subtract 3a, that is 4a. 3x squared plus 5x minus 5x squared minus 12x plus 8 minus x. Well, that looks really complicated, however, it can be simplified very nicely. I'm going to highlight everything in different colours. So I've highlighted the x squared in red, the x's in blue, and the numbers in green. Notice that I'm treating the x squared differently than the x's, uh, and that's how we do it. So the 3x squared minus 5x squared, that comes together to make minus 2x squared. This is how we handle normal negative numbers. It's like 3 minus 5 is minus 2. So 3x squared minus 5x squared is minus 2x squared. Now we've got 5x minus 12x, which is minus 7x. And then we've got a minus x on the end, minus 7x minus x is minus 8x. Notice that minus x just means minus 1x. We don't normally write ones in front of letters. And then we've got a plus 8 on the end, and the plus 8 cannot be simplified because it's on its own. And so if, uh, when we do this, this is called collecting like terms because all the similar terms that look the same have been collected together into one term. Okay. And we've done that. Is almost there. We've got uh, now we've got 3hu plus 5hu minus 7hu. Well, again, 3hu plus 5hu is 8hu, and we subtract 7hu is 1hu. However, in algebra, we don't write if you've got well, if you've got 1 or something, we just write it as hu. So 1hu, we just write as hu. When we only have one or something, we just write it without the one. Cool. Now, 2 times x times 3. The 2 times 3 add both numbers, and they can come together as 6x. We are multiplying here, so we multiply the numbers. a squared times x times 3 times 5x. The 3 and the 5 can come together to make 15. And then we have an a squared times x times x. The x times x simplifies to x squared. And so we've got 15 a squared x squared. Now 2x plus 8x divided by 6 minus 1. When you've got numbers like this, uh, this is a fraction. So we write it and a fraction mean, in algebra, a fraction means divide. On the top, we've got 2x plus 8x is 10x. On the bottom, 6 minus 1 is 5. Now we've got 10x divided by 5. I'll just divide the numbers. 10x divided by 5 is 2x because 10 divided by 5 is 2. Very nice. And that is the final answer. Here's a nice interesting example. Find an expression for the area and perimeter of this shape. Before we begin, we need to realise that the bottom is 10a, so the top is also 10a, and the side is 7a, and the opposite sides will also be 7a, because that's how rectangles work. Opposite sides are the same length. 
to find the area, we're going to do uh, the base times the height. The base is 10a, the height is 7a. 10a times 7a, 10 times 7 will be 70, a times a will be a squared. And we've done. We can do the perimeter now. To find the perimeter, we're going to add all the sides together. So we'll do 10a plus 7a plus 10a plus 7a. We have added all the sides together. 7a plus 10a plus 7a plus 10a. Uh, that will be 34a. Now, I am going to touch on expanding brackets now. Uh, but if you wanted to see this in more detail, I do have an entire video on expanding brackets. So you'll be able to get far more detail from that video. And I will link that video in the uh, description below this video. So 2b plus 5, sorry, 2 times b plus 5. To expand the brackets, we can do the 2 times the b, and we also do 2 times 5. 2 times b is 2b, 2 times 5 is 10. So the 2 multiplies everything inside the brackets and we get 2b plus 10. Now you're going to do it with two sets of brackets here, so we've got 6 times x and 6 times minus 2, which becomes 6x minus 12. Now minus 2 times x and minus 2 times minus 4. Minus 2 times x is minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 8, because that is a negative times a negative, which is a positive. We've expanded those brackets now. Just remember to be really, really careful with your minus signs. And we're going to collect like terms. 6x minus 2x is 4x. Minus 12 plus 8 is minus 4. If you're struggling with your negative numbers, you can watch my video on negative numbers. I will link that in the description as well. Uh, but when we add and subtract the negative numbers, using number line, it makes it far easier. And we get 4x minus 4. That's the final answer. Okay, there's some practice questions for you to try here. Uh, the green are the easiest, the red are the hardest. Uh, and I recommend you taking about 10 to 15 minutes to try and do all these questions yourself. There's a lot of questions to be working on here, so it's a good idea to pause the video and come back in 10 or 15 minutes when you're ready to see the answers. But if you're happy, I'll show you the answers in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Let me know how well you did in the comments. Some interesting ones here, and just notice that C and T and T, C are the exact same. Even though the numbers are, the letters are back to front, uh, they do still have the, um, have the same value. And then also this one, 1 plus a plus a squared cannot be simplified because all three of those terms are different. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos are coming soon. We've also recently launched AdvancedMaths.com where you can find lots of revision resources and great blogs for students and parents alike. Good luck in your exams and I'll see you in the next video.